Hey, everybody, welcome back. Excellent. Well done, Tracty. Now we have at least one key. Only two keys remain, and we know Baba has one of them. So the other key must still be underground. And we only have six days left. Dronia, what exactly are these keys? And what are you planning to do once you collect them all? <laughs> Don't worry about it. What about you? What have you been looking for this whole time? I have my reasons for searching the labyrinth, and I don't need to share those reasons with you. <laughs> Very well. But you should know, you've made a huge mistake by not asking me for advice. At any rate, if you still haven't found what you're after, it's either long gone or it never existed. Wait, where's Luca? She was right here. But Maria attends to Luca as Dronia and Nelda watch in silence. She's still unconscious. What exactly happened? Witnesses say she staggered into the path of an oncoming carriage. <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! I should have been paying better attention. Neldo, I leave this matter to you. T hey Where do you think you're going? I'm going back to the caravan. W what You're just gonna leave Luca like this? Stay here! There must be something you can do! <laughs> I didn't travel to this town just to look after dead weight. <laughs> How dare you! Neldo ri rises to his feet in rage, but Marietta shakes her head at him. Never mind. Just go away. <sighs> My investigation is complete. Good work. Now, I want you to stay by Luca's side. Lady Luca? But I'm your... It's fine, just do what I say. It's for your own good. Hmm. As you wish, ma'am. Tracti? Do you think I'm heartless too? Never mind. You don't need to answer that. If I used my magic, Luca would probably recover. But that will make it harder to find the other two keys in time. The one Baba stole must be somewhere in this town. Above ground, not in the labyrinth. Damn it. If I can't get all three keys, then what's the point? What am I even saying? Huh? Why are the lights out? <laughs> In the darkness of the caravan, something reaches out and strikes Jeronia across her eyes, blinding her. <laughs> my... my eyes! <laughs> Punishment for the wicked witch who has disturbed the peace of our fair town. And I'm sorry, but more beautiful than me? Why, a rumor like that must be quashed swiftly. Now remember, I'm paying you two a lot of money. <laughs> Leave it to us. You nearly killed us last time with your weird magic. Time to even the score. Ugh! Goddamn witch! 
Those soldiers from before. Of course. This is revenge. Now do her face next. <laughs> Can we save that bit of business for last, my lady? We have a long night ahead of us. How vulgar. But so be it. She seems weak enough that I can leave the rest to you. When you're finished, throw her down the well of Kalaza. No one will find her there. No. I can't move. Did I break a bone? No. That's not it. I'm trembling. I can't move. I guess... I'm weaker than I thought, right now. Now, I shall take my leave. Frank, escort me home. I would hate to be caught by an unclean one. Huh? Me? But I, I want to stay. What was that? Yes, ma'am. Right away. Farewell, Wicked Witch. You have no one but your face to blame for this. <laughs> <laughs> I guess... this is karma. What... what could I have done... differently? Um... What's with the frickin' false endings? Labyrinth of Refrain, Coven of Dusk. Alright, I'm back, motherfuckers. Jeroni is falling asleep. <sighs> Okay, so first you get the one thing, you get shanked. And that time you get the shit beaten out, raped, and dropped down a well. Okay. Madam Junior! Madam Junior! After... Please clean up once in a while. It's good exercise, and you'll feel much better. And Luca gets run over by a carriage. <gasps> Junior, still half asleep, picks up a broom before coming to her senses. She then promptly puts it back. Me? Clean? What am I thinking? This is... this is her job. Ah! Luca! No. She wouldn't be out here. What am I doing? Journey hears the broom fall over inside the caravan. Huh? Huh? Why are the lights out? <gasps> In the darkness of the caravan, a burly soldier suddenly strikes Dronia across the face. <gasps> you nearly killed us last time with your weird magic. Time to even the score. <gasps> Those soldiers from before. Of course. This is revenge. Goddamn witch! <clears throat> the darkness inside the caravan is suddenly pierced by two bright red lights. But in this darkness, I have the advantage. That's it. Focus on the light. Mikhail, Frank, don't take another step. <gasps> From behind a curtain, Juliet hides and watches the scene unfold. Why? 
Why are you here? We were ordered by Lady Juliet to punish the evil witch. What are you idiots doing? Hurry up before she... So, you're behind this. for the money get out don't ever come back I can't get up I'm so weak right now. It's almost funny. I guess... This is karma. Huh? What's that? Dronia noticed a small box under the desk. It was the gift Luca tried to give Dronia for her birthday. Though the box seemed just barely out of reach, Dronia managed to grab it. Inside there was a letter. This... Terrible handwriting. Luca wrote this? Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Auntie Dronia! Yay! I know you get mad when I call you Auntie, so I wrote it instead. Auntie Dronia, you are the best Auntie ever, and I love you so, so much. I'm gonna make you a yummy meal with lots of yummy things, like Tato's. It's gonna be amazing. On my next birthday, I would love it if you could tell me about Mama when she was young. I get lonely when you're not around, so I hope you'll stay with me. I don't like getting scolded, but I'm gonna work hard and make you proud. You'll see. The end. Oh. Luca's Asara's daughter. Uh huh? Was she calling Auntie? Maybe. That kid must be mistaking me for someone else. I mean, she gave her that pendant and said it was her mother's. I'm guessing that's probably that pendant from the memories, maybe? <laughs> Tony tried to get up, but she couldn't move. Luca. Hey. Luca. No. She's not here. What's happened to me? If I do nothing, she won't come back. She'll be gone. For the rest of my life. Huh? Am I? Crying? Why? Because... I imagined life without her. <laughs> How did I let her get to me? <laughs> Covered in blood and tears, Dronia's memories dissolve into a murky cloud as she slowly loses consciousness. Do you think you can make it more... Miss Tronia? Miss Tronia? Are you okay? Fritz shakes Dronia, but she's unresponsive. I... I gotta get help! <laughs> Boss! Hurry! Hurry! Hmm. Well, boss? Oh. Huh? Okay. Okay. Get Luca? Got it. Hmm. I'll go get her right now! Hmm. Oh.
Dronia! Hmm? Boss! This guy says he'll take care of Dronia for Luca! Oh. Yeah. Huh? Really? Okay. He bandaged her up, but she's still out cold. There's not much else he can do. I see. Let me step in. Hmm. Nimto grunts an acknowledgement, and at that moment, Dronia regains consciousness. <laughs> oh. Hey, Dronia? You with us? Oh, it's you. Sorry, but can you take care of Luca for me? <laughs> she was just mumbling. Did she say, take care of Luca? And apologize? Damn it. What's going on? I, is it okay for us to go? We can leave her with you, right? Oh, yeah, that's fine. I'll take over from here. Is this... the Academy? N no. It's the Abbey. Though Marietta had been tending to Luca's injuries, the poor girl had yet to regain consciousness. Dronya enters the room. Madame Dronya, you're awake. I'm so relieved. I'm okay now. Jornia looks down at Luca. Luca is still unconscious. The doctor says she is unlikely to recover. I see. Are you just gonna leave her like this? You might be able to look the other way, but I'm not going to give up. Shut up and listen to me. There is one way to save her. What? Really? Luca is a witch, just like me. Infusing her with magical energy will completely heal her wounds. At the Witch Academy, we would heal ourselves by consuming potions that would infuse us with magic. But potions aren't an option in this situation. So, a magic infusion is our best bet. You're not lying, are you? Why would I lie about this? Then do it, Dronia! Do it right now! You have to save Luca! Even if it kills you, infuse her with magic like your life depends on it. I swear, if Luca doesn't recover from this, I will kill you. <laughs> Crude as ever, I see. By the way, did you leave Tracti back at the caravan? If it gets burned again, Luca is in no condition to help us repair it. It's right here. Jeremia takes the Tractatus de Monstrum into her hands and whispers softly to it. Tracti. No. Tractatus de Monstrum. Until Luca is healed, I cannot provide you with any support. Only five days remain. You must find the key underground on your own. Yep, yep. Thank you. Neldo, take care of Tracti for me. You should be able to use some of the facilities within the caravan. Uh, understood. I'm trusting you with Luca. This plan of yours better work. <laughs> Remember who you're talking to. For Madame Droni and Luca's sake, keep exploring the other dimension. I feel way better now!
Well, r -r 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 rock me, Amadeus. girl wearing some sort of mask sits by herself staring out of the water. The girl suddenly rises and runs towards the unmanned boat that came drifting towards the dock. We see a casket, flowers, and mementos belonging to the deceased. The girl rummages through the items and smiles when a shiny plate catches her eye. Sliding the plate beneath her clothes, she, the girl wraps her tails around one of the casket's handles and begins to drag it away. Whoa. She drags the casket behind her, she runs towards the white building. You saw that too, huh? That girl's name is Port. She's the only gravekeeper here. Suddenly, a ghostly apparition appears and starts to talk your ear off. Oh my! There's a foolish soul who can't even die right. That's why I'm still here wandering this world. You guys are magical creatures, eh? You know, if you think about it, you guys aren't that different from me. <laughs> With that, Polly disappears. The little girl's port. She's the gravekeeper. Speak to her. There's a worn indentation in the spot where the young girl had been sitting. The giant gate shut tight and won't open. Ford appears to notice you, but she doesn't seem terribly concerned by your presence. Ford opens the gate with a key and then directs the casket inside. The giant gate's locked from the inside. Only the gravekeeper can open this gate. This building's pretty old. I'm sure you can find another way inside. But I'm not going to tell you where it is. Why would you expect me to help? <laughs> With that, Holly disappears. I'll wipe the floor with you. Better than nothing. Let's go! Incoming! Yes! I see it! I have Yeah! Yes! A double decapod. I'm on fire! Better than nothing. I'll shoot you! Death invitation. Stop resisting. Impeccable. Ha! <laughs> Die. Not bad. There. Yeah. <laughs> 
board appears to be engrossed in her work. She pulls out a casket, checks the date and the label before replacing it with a new one, and drops the casket down a hole. Ignoring your presence, she continues working intently. Hey, fancy meeting you all here. I'm not following you guys or anything. You see, that's Port's job. She stores all these caskets as they drift in, in until it's time to send them to the morgue. And when the time comes, down the hole the casket goes! No one knows where that hole leaves, but the rules here are clear and Port's got a job to do. Finished with her task, Port glances at you before running off again. She's a hard worker. Holly chuckles and disappears. That's, uh... An amethyst ring. Let's get started. This formation should work- I'll shoot ya! Let's go! Ha! Yeah, the end of those <laughs> tentacles don't look like dickheads at all. Incoming! One of our defenses. Ha! <laughs> you die! I hope this war there! Incoming! Here I come! To save the day. A stirring victory! Shining Soul! And Crunchy Garlic! No backing down. This formation's on. Let's go. Incoming. Ah! Take that. Incoming. Double derp a pod. <laughs> Total annihilation. Kingdoms. Incoming. This formation should. Let's go. <laughs> Incoming. <laughs> Easy peasy. Let's go! Yes! Income there! <laughs> Total annihilation. Some, well, the place called, you know, the Asmodeus, the Asmodeus Necropolis, it's kind of expecting not an ocean theme. Surprise, motherfucker! You're worthless! Good formation. Let's go! Yep, yep. <laughs> Incoming! Victory! Let's 
give it everything we've got! This formation's on... <laughs> Take... Okay. Incoming! <laughs> yeah. Incoming! <laughs> Ready to engage. I'll suit you! Yes! Take that! Huh? There! I hope this works! <laughs> oh, oh Miss oh, okay. Help! Miss <laughs> That won't work on Yeah! I was about to ask, I that wonder if these things are actually going to get an attack off, because they seem like they're a lot easier than, you know, the last area. May the stars bless me know my role. I'll suit you! Yes! Shit. Here! Yeah! Descent! Yes! Oh yeah, I can't change while I'm stockpiling. I knew we were gonna win. Port pulls a casket from the shelf and crawls inside of it. The path is too narrow and cannot be entered from here. As you peek inside, the room is suddenly illuminated by the dim light of a single candle. The inside appears to be filled with junk, though it's neatly arranged. Port looks at the shiny plate she found today and places it gently on the shelf. Found you, Tracty. I'm exploring the layout of this building, but I haven't found the next antechamber. This world seems rather lacking, but until we find the antechamber, we can't progress any further. If I find anything, I'll let you know. With that, Naldo silently walks away. <clears throat> hmm. Too dark to see anything. Holly suddenly appears before you. <clears throat> I don't know why you guys would come to this barren thousand-year-old island, but it looks like today is almost over. Here, yeah, there's no yesterday or tomorrow, just a today that goes on forever. With that, Holly disappears. Perhaps she should return to base for now? Hmm. Do we want to go up? Stop resisting! Hold this for me! I'll suit you! Shit! <laughs> Well, I hope this, this could is... end absolutely horribly. <laughs> Easy peasy. We could go plummeting down here. Wee! One level, two levels. Fuck. Don't jump down the hole. I'm... I'll spank you if this happens again. Don't jump down the morgue pit, motherfucker! Five days remain. 
Jarnia clasps Luca's hand and begins to infuse her with magical energy. Jeez, this kid is a handful. I'm nursing you back to health with my own magical energy, you know? This is a real treat. <sighs> Slowly, Jornia begins to caress Luca's hand with her thumb. I never realized just how small your hands are. Five days remain. Continue to explore the other world. I mean, honestly, would the other witches even compare to Baba's power? If you made a ward to fuck Baba over... Eh, whatever. Fuck, I forgot to... Damn it! Hang on! Boop, 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 boop. The Witch Core! Ah. I think we only have two of these. Let's make another one. Ears. Female? I'm hungry! Ugh, nap time. I guess we could do with another one of these. There we go, Anastasia.
Wow. That really ups her charm. Being pervert. Neurotic. <laughs> Neurotic! You know what? We're gonna go with perverted. Huh? Okay, so we have a full suite of attackers. So, we now know, don't jump down the morgue hole. <laughs> but it is one of those, like, you don't know if you should or not. But now we know. Don't jump down the fucking morgue hole, retard. Boogada, boogada, boogada. Stop resisting! We got nothing to worry about. I'll shoot you! There! <laughs> yes! Yeah! I hope this works! Easy peasy. Stop resisting. What of our defenses? Let's go. Take that. Take that. Like <laughs> Missed me. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Here I come. Oh, Here. Ink. Not bad. There. You got fucking doom like that. Hey. Look at the shit, bro. Yes. We just gotta go. Wow. Some fucking slim pickings. Fine! I get it, you don't wanna fucking die! Coward! Of our defenses. I'll shoot you! Incoming! Incoming! Yeah! I see got it! I hope this works! Yep. <laughs> Total annihilation. 
Let's get started. This formation's on fire! Boom! Headshot! <laughs> Incoming! I hope this works! I knew we were gonna win. A masked girl sits alone, staring out at the water. The girl suddenly raises and runs towards the unmanned boat that came drift drifting toward the dock. You see a casket, flowers, and mementos belonging to the deceased. The girl rummages through the items, but doesn't look pleased with any of them. She seems disappointed, but quickly regains her composure and stands with her back facing the casket. The girl wraps her tail around one of the casket handles and begins to drag it away. Whoa. She drags the casket behind her as she runs toward the white building. Now, oh, looks like she didn't find anything. If she sees a memento she likes, she adds it to her collection. This morgue is just an island in the middle of the sea-sized lake. I have no idea if there's more to this world beyond this lake. Isn't it odd that there's a morgue in an island where no man's been for a thousand years? Maybe this is the next life. Then again, bodies come floating here on a regular basis. As you can see, Port doesn't talk, so she's not much help, you know. <laughs> Did I say too much? Holly chuckles and disappears. Peek inside, it's too dark to leave, you don't give a fuck, so... <laughs> a holy air drifts along this floor. It seems that sinful invaders will not be tolerated. Tread with caution. Karma damage. You'll take damage on this floor based on your karma, i.e. your past misdeeds. You can view your karma on the screen. Karma increases by defeating enemies and completing certain events. Depending on your actions, your karma can get rather high. In addition to taking damage from this floor, your karma also incre increases your susceptibility to critical hits. Hmm. You can reset your karma with Witch Petition. If you keep your karma especially high, return to base to fix your past mistakes. Damn it! I'll wipe the floor with you. Looks right to me. Ha! Incoming! Ha! Yes! I see it! I hope this works! Enough standing around, let's move! damage per fucking step. <laughs> Look at me! Alright, Baba, get your fucking ass. Baba, what is this, four or five? I don't fucking know. Get your punky bitch ass down the well. Also... Ah, treasure packed. Loot Hungry 1 and 2. Camp. Will be applied to droppery. All right, so bang. Okay, see. Hmm. Actually. But see, this is going to be the last video for the night, so there's no point in heading back into the dungeon. I'll catch you guys later. 
Adios.